how can we grow in biblical patience? You know, patience is something I have struggled with in certain areas because I've become impatient. Like when <laughs> I set my eyes on something that I want, instead of waiting, like it may not be a good time to get it, but because I'm impatient, I'll go ahead and make a hasty decision to get it. And oftentimes, God shows me, if you had waited, this what you were trying to get, someone was going to give it to you, or you was going to get it at a better rate if you had just simply waited. So, I have to admit myself, being patient is something that I struggle with in certain areas. Now, there's are some things that I can be patient in, but there are other areas where I'm not so patient. And it's funny because when you pray to God and ask God to help you with that, to help you be more patient, you'll find yourself in situations <laughs> that actually require you to be patient. So it's like, you know, be careful what you ask God for because when you ask him for something, he hears the prayer and he proceeds to, you know, bring situations upon you so that you can grow in this area and can be uncomfortable at times. But again, when we ask for it, God gives it to us. And then sometimes we're like, oh, I don't really want it. So patience is like one of the fruits of the spirit so it's a good thing to be patient um i want to read a little bit of this article from christianity.com um that i was enjoying this morning and i'm just going to share it with you because i know i'm not the only one that <laughs> struggles with patience and a lot of times our patience is tested you know when we're in traffic and I've, I've just, like, my husband, he's so patient in driving, and I'm not. So that's another area. I mean, I'm getting better, but it's just like, <laughs> you get to one of those, it, there's not a light there, but it may be like a four-way stop, and then it's like, go, you can go, you know, it's just like, <laughs> I mean, like. I know they can't hear me, but it's just like, it irks me because it's just like, people should be paying attention and knowing when they're supposed to go and when they're not supposed to go. So it's just like, my husband just drives with such peace and calm <laughs> and I'm just kind of like, I've gotten better. I will admit <laughs> I've gotten better because uh, I'm not so much as verbally speaking it out, but I'm kind of internally saying it. But hey, it's still a start because it's like, um, um, it's it's a process and I'm, it's, I'm working on it. So 
in this article, it says, never ask God for patience or else he will give it to you. This sentiment is a common joke among many who know that when someone wants to grow in patience, they experience difficult situations that force them to be more patient. Characterized by the ability to face trying, hard, or annoying experiences without getting angry. So you, you'll be in situations where it becomes trying, it's hard, even it's even annoying. But the thing is to not allow that situation to get you upset or lash out. Patience may be one of the biblical traits humans struggle with the most in today's world. It seems almost everything is designed to test our patience. Traffic. 24-hour news cycles. I don't even watch the news no more. <laughs> I mean, I, I take it with a grain of salt, and I take so much that I can. I don't. Yeah, I can't just repeatedly like watch the news. Like we'll watch. Me and my husband will watch the news, and uh, I've gotten better at that too. Because sometimes he'll just see the look on my face. And I feel like something's boiling over and he'll just like turn it or whatever. And he'll say, I'm sorry, but I've gotten better with the news as well, but I don't watch it back to back to back. And so we were watching the news one day and I handled it pretty good. And my husband said, oh, I'm surprised you did good, you know, with that. I said, well, I just have learned to just, you know, take it with, it is what it is. Take it with a grain of salt, you know, yeah. And so when the next news was about to come on, because like some of them come on back to back to back, I'm like, we've already heard this, so I don't need to hear any more. So just go ahead and turn it off. So, you know, you kind of know yourself in certain situations and know, hey, this thing, this is the thing that gets me balled up inside. So I need to step away from it so I don't lash out or, you know, develop this attitude over what I'm hearing on the news, and now I'm lashing out at somebody else around me. Uh, so there's everything is designed to test patience, traffic, 24-hour news cycles, other people. God calls his people to be more like Jesus, who demonstrates great patience during his earthly ministry. By studying Christ's example, understanding what the Bible says about patience, and personal examination, examining yourself, examining what you know gets you, you know, like if you're in a situation where, you know, like the car and someone is... Um, you know, going slow, that's another thing, you know, it's like some people, to me, it seems like they deliberately will pull out in front of you and just go really slow. And so I will say I have gotten better with that because what I do now, instead of riding up on them, of course, you can't do that nowadays and you've been got shot. There's so much road rage going on. But what I do now is when they slow down and I'm like really when they slow down I slow down even more so and so there becomes this great distance between us and you can almost see them looking through their little real real mirror that that because they want to vex you they want to get at you you know some people and I that's another thing I've come to know that everybody aren't filled with the Holy Spirit We'll just say it that way because it's the Holy Spirit that helps us to govern ourselves in a manner that's, you know, more Christian like, you know. But I had to come to the realization everybody out on the road is not like that. And they don't care. They don't care if they're doing things 
Because when you don't have the Holy Spirit, you don't have that awareness, that conscience telling you you're doing something that's not going according to what Christ would require of you. So they don't have that. So they don't think that they're doing anything wrong. And so while you're getting all in a tither, they don't even know. And you may be, how can they be like that? Because that's just who they are. That's their character. That's their nature. And so when I had to also come to the grips, to the realization of that, I was like, you know, I can pr I pray for them now. I pray for them, uh, pray for them because, you know, some people were just, you know, ignorant, ignorance in that respect that, you know, to do something like that just to annoy somebody, you know, yeah, it's just, it's just, you, you just got to. <laughs> You just got to know everybody is not where you're at. You got to show grace for people. But then also knowing that even in showing grace, it's almost like that, uh, the, the verse, love your enemies, love those who, you know, despitefully, spitefully use you. Um, so God calls his people to be more like Jesus, who demonstrated great patience doing his earthly ministry by studying Christ's example, understanding what the Bible says about patience and personal examination. One can grow, one can grow <laughs> in biblical patience, even if it's a struggle. So let's see. When examining the state of the world and the causes of one's own sins, many issues stem, seem to stem from impulsive mistakes or angry outbursts, random acts of violence, foolish and rash decisions, and unhealthy cycles contribute to silly accidents at best. And the ruination, 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 I didn't know that's a word, ruin of lives and relationships at worst. Many sins and mistakes come from a lack of patience, which is the capacity to accept or tolerate delay, trouble, or suffering without getting angry or upset. So, to be patient is to have the capacity to accept or tolerate. A lot of us are tolerating. <laughs> Delay, trouble, suffering without getting angry or upset. So up here where it says like uh, many sin or many issues seem to stem from impulsive mistakes or uh, making rash decisions. Um, so like, let's say at a red light, you see it's turning red, but because you don't want to wreck weight because you're impatient, then you run the red light. And so that's a hasty decision that this is saying a silly accident, but yes, it can cause a major accident because of the incapability to wait. But you know, how many of us have ran red lights? A lot of us have. Most everyone has ran, I've ran a red light I try not I haven't like no more I do that but I've done that in the past but then I finally you know had to come to the realization that Karen when you run a red light yes you're thinking about yourself you're trying to get to where you're trying to get to because you're late but you don't know not only are you putting your own self in harm's way but you are putting somebody else in harm's way. And so do I really want to be responsible for causing an injury or death to someone else just because I'm running late? Just because I'm impatient to wait at the light? Just because I make a rash decision? So that's why it says to self-examine. So you want to self-examine yourself and know certain situations that you're in or whatever. So like if you are running late for something, just because you're running late, you don't have to have the mindset to run a light, even though you're running late. 
But most people who are running late run the light, and that's how most wrecks happen. Because they don't, you know, want to wait at the light. So, how long does it take for someone to lose their temper, storm off, or get exasperated? Being able to accept or tolerate problems allows people to work through issues, facilitate compromise, and prevents inappropriate behavior. Being able to accept or tolerate problems. Being able to accept or tolerate problems. Now, I've had to do that at work in certain circumstances, you know, and I think it's I'm tolerating a lot because if I acted on my first impulse, I'm going to say something that I don't need to say. I don't know. I may even do something that I don't need to do. And so with that, that's a little bit easier for me to, you know, be patient or tolerable. Like I'm going to say I'm tolerable in that. But if it's something that I've got my eye on that I want to purchase, I have a problem with waiting in that area. And I need to be able to wait because I'm making hasty decisions. And sometimes I may get something and then it's not even what I wanted or didn't pan out how I thought it would be, you know, because I'm just so quick to make a hasty decision because of my, of my impatience to wait on this particular thing. Uh, yeah. So mm, this says some people say patience is a virtue. While this saying is true, it does not come from the Bible. I did a video about a saying, like some sayings that we've been saying that aren't biblical, but we're saying it, so we just need to be cautious when we say it. It may kind of go along with what the Bible's saying, but to say that it's an actual verse, Bible verse, you know, it's like we have to just be careful in that respect because we don't want to be adding our own verses to the Bible. But here, this is one. Um, I actually thought it was a Bible verse or it was from the Bible. And so this is this is saying it's not actually from the Bible, but the sentiment is holds true because patience is one of the uh, fruits of the spirit and the fruits of the spirits are virtues. So um, let's see here. The fruits of the spirit are virtues, behaviors and characteristics that grow in believers and serve as evidence of the presence and work of the Holy Spirit. Patience is not only one of the first ones in the list of the fruits of the Spirit. It also facilitates some of the others. That's true. It's easier to be gentle with others when full of patience. That's true. So when you're full of patience, you'll be gentle with them and you won't lash out at them. <laughs> Self-control can also be related to patience. That's why I need self-control. Self-control. So I have to be patient. Like, oh, just, just hold on before you get that. Just be the experience. And I've, like I said, I'm praying to God for it. And I will come across circumstances where God has helped me. He brings to my remembrance what I pray for. And it stares up in my spirit. And I feel bad to get it. So therefore, I don't get it. And, but then I thank God that he put that, pricked me in my spirit to remind me, hey, you asked for this. So now I'm kind of troubling you right now in your spirit. So you don't just easily go get it. But no, you have a choice here at this point because you pray. You can either accept my help and be patient or go along and continue to do what you're doing, even though you asked me for the patience. <laughs> Let's see. Self-control can also be related to patience as an abundance of patience can help someone 
not overreact to others or to annoying situations. And let's see here. What else? Okay. This says, what are some, what am I at? I'm at ooh, I'm at 19 minutes. I need to wrap this up. Uh, so, let me just go ahead and wrap it up with this little par with this paragraph. How can we grow in biblical patience? Growing in patience is never easy. In order to grow in this fruit of the Spirit, it often means being in a situation that requires it. A good way to tell if an action is driven by patience or impatience is if there is an opportunity to do something in one's own power or if there is an opportunity to wait on God to act. Can I lash out on this person now? or rely on the spirit for a calm mind. Can I make something happen today? Or is God inviting me to wait for him to act? Relying on God's timing is always the patient decision. Yes, <laughs> relying on the Lord means letting him work in his way and in his time. His timing is different than ours. Yes, the Lord longs to be gracious to us. Therefore, he will rise up to show you compassion. For the Lord is a God of justice. Blessed are all who wait for him. Ultimately, building patience, patience requires prayer. Yes, yes. And the Holy Spirit, definitely. While that may feel like a big challenge, it is important to remember that God is patient with sinners. The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise, as some count slowness, slow, slowness, but is patient toward you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. God extends this patience to humanity and believers are called to be like him. He will teach those who ask how to be like him. And so I'm going to end it with this prayer about being more patient. And it reads, Holy Father, thank you for the love you've shown your creation. Thank you for sending Jesus Christ to show us your infinite love. Thank you, God, for your great patience with us. And that is so true, guys. God is so, so patient with us. We are imperfect, like sheep who wander away from the rest of the flock. As the good shepherd, you send your spirit, yes, to convict us, find us, and bring us back. We return to sin, reject your ways, but like the father in the parable of the prodigal son, you, want, you wait for us to return to you. <laughs> Lord, I want to be more like you, to have your character, and that includes patience. Teach me to be willing to wait, to listen, and to pray. Fill me with the spirit so that I can grow more and more patient. Help me to be more patient with people and circumstances. Grow my character, please. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. All right, guys, thank you for taking the time out to watch this video, uh, yeah. I just hope you got something. It was an encouragement for you, for you that struggle also with patience. We just, you know, we can overcome this struggle by just like the prayer just said, just 
praying to God and allowing the Holy Spirit to help us. And when that Holy Spirit comes and convicts us in certain circumstances or when we see ourselves in certain circumstances, rather than getting mad, view it as, hey, here is my opportunity to produce patience or have patience being produced in, in me with the help of the Holy Spirit. So again, thank you for watching and oh yeah, have a